afraid you've fallen down the wrong rabbit hole. But beggars can't be truthful, hmm? So let's make a deal. You help us, and you don't die. A win-win, yeah? Not that you have much choice here. Back off, Doc. Hey, kid. I know what you're thinking. What could sound more appealing than a slimy stranger giving you orders? Trust me, I know the feeling. But listen, this place has gone to hell, and it's getting worse fast. Richtofen is stepping up to repair our teleportation device, but it's not going to be an easy job. You find us and provide some support, you might actually make it out of here. The speck of good news in all this is that there are still some supplies scattered around this dump. Get yourself armed and maybe mow down an undead ugly or two on the way over. A broken clock is right twice a day, yes? Well, that is German and his plan. Consider it the first correct strike of this. As a doctor, I'm afraid it is my duty to break bad news. By passing through the rift, your world has been affected by the ether. Ether energy has the power to tear open the seams of the multiverse itself, allowing humans and objects to shuttle in and out of time and space. Our coming here was purely by accident. pass, they will automatically attack. Just don't put the turret outside the defensive umbrella. They can't stand the storm. Listen to me carefully. At night, the bases will attract no end of dangerous creatures. If it is destroyed, we'll be torn to pieces by the storm in seconds. Bastards are here, guns are loaded. Let's get this started. Transmission device is almost repaired. You'd better collect more supplies and meet back here before nightfall so we can prepare. 
I sense a salvage we've gathered from several scattered vehicles your way. Use it wisely. Running vehicles are rare commodities. And should you happen to use one, exercise caution. The Aether Storm paralyzes motors when night falls. Because, of course they do. Raging at night, it should be able to provide enough energy to help us reopen the portal. As for you, I'm afraid if you don't make it back on time, we won't wait for you. Don't let poor punctuality be your downfall. like an honest, if simple-minded, sort of person. So do enjoy, for today, I will provide you with more defensive turrets. In addition, I'm sending you my latest turret design. You may look over the blueprints for more details. Upgrading the original turret should help it endure more of those creatures. Do not be stingy with bullets either. Let them rain down like hellfire. Kid, you can't die here. Now that was a fight. Try to dogpile us when the sun's down and run scared the minute it comes up, will ya? Them friggin' cowards. This is not that complicated. Just look at the vortex. The etheric energy rage at that night. Transmission cracks open, but these monsters are then attracted by the energy. That raccoon drawn to the dumpster. And that these are infinitely more fun to blow up. Same damn place. Do you think I don't know that, Dempsey? The energy in this space is too strong. It's sucking us in place like candy. We need to harness more of that energy ourselves to break through this barrier. Ah, I see broken clock ticks on.
I almost forgot. There is also a large warehouse where you can share supplies with your teammates. In my homeland, unity is our virtue, so be generous. Leave extra materials in public warehouse for your teammates to use. I'm going to need some time on this, so I suggest making good use of your new equipment. The teleportation setting is active, but the etheric energy accumulation will attract more energy. I've broken the eggs. It's up to you to clean it up. Be careful! That's not a toy. Seven, eight, nine. Holy shit. There are even more cracks for the monsters to teleport through now. Get ready, soldier. This is gonna be a big one. Open. Men, they are going home. 